Ahoy mates, Julie here, and welcome to Friday's episode of The Voters TV. First up today, it's time for our Boat Test Reports Feature of the Week, where today we learn about a Navionics product that can assist boaters in getting from point A to point B faster. Navionics Charting Systems offers two different primary types of coastal and lake plotting, the Gold Plus and the award-winning Platinum Series. Here's Boat Test to tell you more. Take it away, guys. Captain Bob Smith with Boat Test here. I'm talking about charting today. Charting is one of the most effective ways to get to where you want to go quicker or find the fish and get back to the weigh-in quicker. With the Gold Series, you have the typical top-down view with the best detail available, expanded databases, user-selectable safety contours, and enhanced port services detail. Stepping up to the Platinum Series, you get multi-dimensional cartography with advanced features like satellite, high-res aerial photo overlays, 3D bathrhythmic views, as well as 360-degree pitch and rotation. You also have panoramic photographic views of ports and marinas and geo-reference coast pilot information. The Hot Map series brings the angler the latest and most detailed views of the waters they can choose to fish. The premium charts have ultra-high resolution detail, some with up to 30 times the typical state charts. These charts not only give you the details of the bottom, but the best path to get to the fish. So whether you're a professional boater or a boater like myself who just enjoys going out and doing some cruising, the cartography is going to be important. And the Navionics cartography is going to give you a great amount of information at a great price. Thanks to BoatTest.com for that report. To see more of the Navionics Charting Systems video, visit www.BoatTest.com. Next up, we've got some news for all you PWC fanatics out there in today's Wet n' Wild. The American Watercraft Association, or AWA, is dedicated to bringing together personal watercraft enthusiasts from around the country under a single banner and offering them a variety of services and opportunities to enjoy this increasingly popular sport. You PWC owners out there may be familiar with their official publication, Ride Magazine. To learn more, the AWA's website can be found at www.awahq.org. And it is here they tell us that, unfortunately, the behavior of a high-profile minority of PwC riders all too often lends credibility to the stereotype promoted by those who dislike PwC. We saw some video of these irresponsible outlaws in our feature on PwC safety tips back in episode 35, the type who endanger other boaters and the environment. To help dispel this image through positive action, AWA charter clubs function to promote PwC fun, activities, and camaraderie, always stressing safe boating at all association-sponsored events. One such AMA charter club, the Virginia Beach Wave Junkies, is doing just that in its first annual Wave Days 2007, coming up October 6th and 7th in Virginia Beach, Virginia, on the Atlantic Ocean and Chesapeake Bay. This two-day PwC recreational and family social entertainment event will showcase the positive aspects of PwC's as a recreational activity and as a sport. Riders are encouraged to attend from all corners of the United States and even from around the world. I spoke with the event's organizer, Brian Sawyer, who told me about some of the activities planned for the weekend, including a coastline cruise ride up and down the Virginia Beach coast on Saturday, which will be a great opportunity to do some dolphin spotting, and what they're calling the Light Tower Challenge on Sunday, which is a 26-mile open ocean ride to the Chesapeake Light Tower, 13 miles out and 13 miles back. The proceeds from Wave Days 2007 will go to the Virginia Beach Volunteer Rescue Squad. Rumor has it that you may even see a bit of free ride and moto surf action, like this footage you're watching here from the Daytona Wave Days 2007 free ride event. But Brian did tell me that the theme of PwC safety awareness will be a primary focus of the event. For more information on the Virginia Beach Wave Days 2007, please visit www.wavedays.com or swing by their MySpace page at myspace.com forward slash wave days. And finally today, it's on to our Ship of Fools segment, where the real fool involved in this derelict boat salvaging footage was named Wilma. One of our regular TBTV viewers, Captain Rhonda Dubois of Coastal Visions International, 
submitted a video featuring a collection of footage from the Poseidon towing and salvage experience salvaging derelict vessel destruction after Hurricane Wilma. It's enough to make any avid boater weep. August 1, 2006 was the starting date of Poseidon Towing and Salvage's FEMA contract to rid the Florida Keys of storm damage and derelict vessels that had been a navigational hazard for boaters in the Upper Keys since Wilma struck back in October 2005. Working with Cahaba Disaster Recovery and local county, state, and federal agencies, Poseidon pulled out all the vessels in their fleet and hit the waters to reclaim what the ocean had taken. Poseidon 4 acted as mothership to all other salvage vessels and crew members, and while they headed offshore for three months with area photos and GPS coordinates of the sunken vessels, we're told they also came across many vessels all on their own while working on this project. The FEMA contract footage was filmed by Captain Rhonda Dubois of Coastal Visions International, a maritime armed security and video response team founded by Captain Maurice O'Connor of Aquanovia and Captain Dubois. Rhonda tells me that they recovered over 150 vessels with their sweep of the waterways of the Upper Keys and that all marine life that they recovered within these vessels were returned back to the wild. Coastal Visions will be hitting the waterways in 2008, providing armed security for oil rigs, tanks, and yachts. To learn more, hop over to their MySpace page at myspace.com forward slash coastal underscore vision. And that's a wrap on this episode of The Voters TV. We'll see you back here on Monday. And until then, a safe and happy boating weekend to you all. Take care. This episode of The Boaters TV has been brought to you by the word Kawasaki, a maker of PWCs, and not one of our advertisers. But they could be!